Emmanuel Jean-Michel Frédéric Macron is a French politician who has served as the President of France and the co-prince of Andorra since 2017. Prior to his presidency, he served as Minister of Economics, Industry and Digital Affairs between 2014 and 2016. Born in Amiens, he read philosophy at Paris Nanterre University, later completing a master's degree in public affairs at Sciences Po and graduating from the École Nationale d'Administration in 2004. Macron worked as a senior civil servant at the Inspectorate General of Finances and later became an investment banker at Rothschild & Company. Macron was appointed a Deputy Secretary General by President François Hollande shortly after his election in May 2012, making Macron one of Hollande's senior advisors. He was appointed to the French cabinet as Minister of Economics, Industry and Digital Affairs in August 2014 by Prime Minister Manuel Valls. In this role, Macron championed a number of business-friendly reforms. He resigned from the cabinet in August 2016, launching a campaign for the 2017 French presidential election. Although Macron had been a member of the Socialist Party from 2006 to 2009, he ran in the election under the banner of En Marche, a centrist and pro-European political movement he founded in April 2016. Partly thanks to the fill-in affair, Macron topped the ballot in the first round of voting, and was elected president of France on May 7, 2017 with 66.1% of the vote in the second round, defeating Marine Le Pen. At the age of 39, Macron became the youngest president in French history. In the 2017 French legislative election in June, Macron's party, renamed La République and Marche secured a majority in the National Assembly. He appointed Édouard Philippe as prime minister until his resignation in 2020, when he appointed Jean Castex. Macron was elected to a second term in the 2022 presidential election, again defeating Le Pen, thus becoming the first French presidential candidate to win re-election since 2002. Ex officio, he is also a co-prince of Andorra, this is a ceremonial role. During his presidency, Macron has overseen several reforms to labor laws, taxation, and pensions, and pursued a renewable energy transition. Dubbed president of the rich by political opponents, Increasing protests against his domestic reforms and demanding his resignation marked the first years of his presidency, culminating in 2019 with the Yellow Vest protests, the climate strike and the pension reform strike. From 2020, he has led France's ongoing response to the COVID-19 pandemic and vaccination rollout. In foreign policy, he called for reforms to the European Union and signed bilateral treaties with Italy and Germany. Macron conducted $45 billion trade and business agreements with China during the China-United States trade war and oversaw a dispute with Australia and the United States over the AUKUS Security Pact.